judges out of office. That's, that's very important. That's a very important piece to the puzzle to make sure that those who are eligible to vote, pretrial detainees are eligible to vote, misdemeanors serving time are eligible to vote, felons who are not serving time are eligible to vote. At one time, these individuals created the biggest voting block in the city of Baltimore and perhaps the state of Maryland. We need to restore that. So I'm fighting today, not only on behalf of those who suffered grievous injuries as a result of police brutality, but I'm also fighting today to restore the right to vote to individuals who are detained on pretrial status, having not been convicted of anything, and for individuals who have been serving time on misdemeanor offenses. This is very important. All right. So thank you all. Mike check. Mike check. So my sister, Delegate Jill Carter, who is really like fighting to change these corrupt laws. My sister's here, and I want her to share. Thank you so much. Thank yes, all of y'all for coming. Yes, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Right. So while the whole country seems to be in somewhat of a panic about the most recent presidential election, we've been living right here in Baltimore City under a governmental tyranny that has failed to see our humanity. I really speak authentically when I say that the same lack of um, the same dehumanization that law enforcement officers have shown towards particularly black people, Tyrone West, and the whole litany of others that we know about, um, is the same dehumanization that happens to a black legislator that fights for the humanization of black people. And so that is my personal story. Um, it is just as you can physically murder someone um, that law enforcement has been allowed to do, when you fight to change that, it's a spiritual murder. It's a political murder that seems that still seems to happen. So, you know, Jay Wendell Gordon said, we have to work with our legislators to change the law enforcement officers' bill of rights and other things. I'm here to tell you, um, that's not likely to happen until we have hundreds more, yes. thousands more. Um, it can't be done with one legislator like Jill Carter. It has to be more people elected into office. The fight has to be political. It has to be political because it is political. It's absolutely 100% political. If you have representatives that don't support things like fair bail, no bail, no money bail, uh, don't support uh, basically laws that keep law enforcement officers from killing people purportedly in the line of duty, then you need new legislators. And the only people that can make that happen is us. So let me just say, my love for Tawanda Jones and the whole West family and coalition has grown exponentially over the years because while many of us endured all of this injustice for decades, it was the West family, the West family that took a stand and has been fighting consistently all of these years. And they are, they are truly our unsung heroes. Not because of their tragedy, but because they turned their tragedy into a fight for everybody yes. in a very selfless way. Yes. And so we, we really need to never forget what they brought. They brought this whole issue of justice and law enforcement reform alive, not just in the halls of justice or in the legislature, but right here in the streets where people live and where we need it to happen. So thank you so much. Before I bring my mind on whoever's been out here to watch here at the film bank, I want to know if any of the other victims of police brutality have since joined us. And so please come up. Come on 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 up. Uh, for the Black Legislation Caucus, one of the officers, Morgan State officer, is now an Annapolis officer at the State Senate building. And you'll see him when you greet him, Mr. David Lewis. Oh, you. Wow, that's a smack in the face. So in case y'all don't know who David Lewis is, that's the coward, the coward animal that sat on my brother's dying back, this 315-pound 
he called animals until he was no longer breathing, moving, or screaming. He reassured that my brother was executed. If he had a fighting chance left, he made sure that my brother was going to be brutally murdered. Talk about it, baby girl. Talk about it. Tell the truth. Yes, ma'am. I know I've been gone for a while physically, but spiritually and mentally I've been doing this. Mr. Warner always told me and gave me the update. I'm glad to be back out here because being out here to me, this is where I get to vent. Come on, come on. This is where I get to tell it all. Tell it, man. Bring it. First of all, I would like to say, no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice for Tyrone West. Justice for Tyrone West. Justice for Tyrone West. Justice for Tyrone West. Justice for all victims. Justice for all victims. A police brutality. Police brutality. Justice for all victims. Justice for all victims. A police brutality. A police brutality. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want? As a mother of a slave, of a murdered victim by the hands of Baltimore City Police Officer and Morgan State, this is a pain that will never go away. This is a pain you have a hold in your heart that will never close. Our love for Tyrone West is the reason we're out here. We are out here demanding justice. We are tired of the lies and the corruption from city officials. Yep. I told them day one, you had no idea who you murdered. I said from day one, we will watch this city just fall, crumble from the top down. They had no idea the man they beat to death. Yeah. They lied to my family from day one. Yeah. All the red flags went up and we started this fight for justice. Yeah. You're not going to tell a mother that has raised a child. Yeah. You're not going to lie to me about his health. I've been with this boy since birth. No, I didn't birth him. My sister did that. But I've been with him since birth. And when my sister left this earth many, many years ago, I promised her that I would look out for her children. Tyrone was the glue to my family. He held us together. Right now, I have to give that glue to Tawanda. Because Tawanda is the reason why we're standing right now today. Through right. hell and high water. Tawanda is out here. She made a promise to her brother and her family. She will get justice for Tyrone. The West family will fight for Tyrone. And also all victims of police brutality. We do not have to stand here and take this. We are human beings. Don't let them strip us yeah. of our humanity. Yeah. Don't let them demonize us after they murdered us. Yeah. Be very careful, people. We're dealing with some dirty, stinking demons. The calling they the police when blue. Be very careful and vigilant. And now the police commissioner want to know why. People re refuse to talk to them and tell them what's going on in this city. Look at your dirty ass house commissioner. Ooh. All the murderers are in there. Right. Right. I told you from day one, clean that dirty house. And maybe, maybe then you'll get the city to come together. Because right now there's no trust in the people that we are paying to protect and serve. And that's bad, you can't trust the police. So what do you 
them.